Oh, hey data wizards. I didn't see you there. Bookmarks. Did you know that they've been around since the first century AD? And after the development of the World Wide Web, they went into a pretty digital transformation. And now, with the widespread of Power BI, they even made their way into the reporting and business intelligence sectors. Pretty interesting. So bookmarks in Power BI really give us the opportunity to make our reports even more automated than they were before. However, their real power is hidden behind working together with selections and buttons. So today, we'll look at how we can use this relationship to do three cool things. The first is gonna be creating a colorblind option for our report. The second will be changing a visual with a button. And the third will be creating a panel full of slicers. So let me just bookmark where I left off and you guys can go bookmark this segue to Zebra BI. So bookmark zebrabi.com and explore it to find the best visualizations for all the biggest platforms in business reporting. And if you want to improve your Power BI skills, be sure to enroll yourself into Zebra BI Academy. It's completely free. You can find all the links in the description below. So welcome back to the regular setting. So to see our bookmarks and work with them, we first have to navigate under view and then click on bookmarks. This will open up a new panel. And now while we're here, let's also open up the selections panel, which is right next to the bookmarks. And now we're ready to start. But before we jump into Power BI, let me just tell you what each of these panels actually are. So selections simply show us all of the objects that we have in our Power BI report. And bookmarks are simply snapshots of the states of our report pages. Now let's jump to Power BI. All right, so let's look at our examples from the most basic to a little bit more complicated. Let's start with our colorblind option. So just like Power BI native visuals, Zebra BI visuals allow you to bookmark some of their settings. And I'll leave a link about the bookmarkable settings in the description if you guys want to read a little bit more about it. So when we're doing something like a different view option, we need to have the start and the end point. And we have the start right here, so we can easily just add a bookmark right now. All right, and let's call it zebra style. All right, and now we just have to go and change the styling of all the other visuals. So just click on a visual, on the visualization, format visual, design, and here just choose the colorblind friendly option. All right, that changes the styling of our visual, and now all I have to do is click through all the other ones. All right, now that we have this, we are ready to add another bookmark. And call it colorblind. There we go. And now we can easily change from Zebra BI style to colorblind style with just one click. Perfect. So now what we want to do is we want to add this to our page navigator just to make it easier for our users to choose the accessibility option. Okay, so first let's choose both of our bookmarks and create a group from them. Let's rename it into accessibility and this will now allow us to go under insert buttons and choose navigator. bookmark navigator and now let's just move it a little bit all right and now I can just make the bookmark only show the buttons from the accessibility bookmark. there we go all right now if we click on one or the other after we move them a little bit of course we have on our report the way to change the styling with a click of a button the second is changing the visual with a button. And let me show you that I've hidden a bar chart here right behind our waterfall chart because one of my viewers prefers the bar over the waterfall. We want to give them the option to choose. What we have to do is just select both of the charts and create another bookmark. X 
expand this and go under only selected visual and of course one of the charts has to be hidden the other one has to be shown we'll call this the waterfall since we've hidden the bar chart and now let's do the exact opposite thing create another create another bookmark and call it bar chart Okay, now we can switch between them by choosing one or the other bookmark. And now just to make it easier, of course, for our viewers, let's add this functionality to a button. So we'll just put in a right arrow. There we go, we'll put it here to the back. Okay, and what we can do now is assign a, an action to this button so right here on the format an action to this button which is to pretty much call a bookmark that we have made um, so choosing bookmark and this will be now our waterfall there we go now um, let's see if it works so we click on it and bam waterfall okay but now we need another way to get back so we'll just Go and add another button. It's on your insert buttons. Choose, let's say, a left arrow. Put it next to it. All right, and again, assign a bookmark to it so we can get back. And now we have it. So we can go clicking on the right to take us to the waterfall chart, and clicking to the left will bring up the bar chart. And we're done. Cool. Okay, but let me just plug Zebra BI for a second. So with Zebra BI, you don't actually have to do this because we have this awesome chart slider on which you can just click and get a different visualization. So you have people in your company that are very particular on what kind of visualizations you like. You can just use Zebra BI and, you know, everybody will be happy. Okay, and now for our main event, the slicer panel. If you can see here, I click on the button, it expands, and I have all my slicers here, so they're not taking up space, valuable space on my dashboard, which is something that IBCS is very particular on. Okay, so how did I do it? So you can see I have two bookmarks here, one filter closed that does not filter data and is only looking at selected visuals. So this is important because if we would filter data, this would mean that, um, Every time we would click it, the slicers would go into the default state from when we made the bookmark. All right, so now you can see here, these are all the things that make up this filter panel. So two buttons, one right arrow, one left arrow, two shapes, which is one big shape that I'm showing you now, one smaller shape that is here, just so you guys can see it better on the video. However, making this even smaller would be even better. And of course, this button that opens it, and the button that closes. And what we do now is just simply show or hide the different objects depending on if we want the filter bar to open or the filter panel to close. So this is very simple now. As you can see, all the slicers are now hidden and the button here is pressed, but when I press the button and expand it, you can see that now we can see all of the different objects and that's pretty much all there is to it so just hiding and unhiding the different buttons um, and you can have a cool slicer panel that actually works so there we go all of your data is sliced up so thank you guys for watching three cool tricks that can make your report stand out from the rest and if you want to learn more about zebra bi and about reporting why don't you enroll into the Zebra BI Academy? The link is down below. And of course, try Zebra BI on your data. You can also find the link down below. If you haven't already, also check out the PVM video and see what your business has been missing in reporting. I'll see you data wizards next time.